<laughs> All right, guys, we're back today to do another pawn shop challenge video where we hit up Matthews, Gastonia, and Shelby, North Carolina. Shelby's a little bit iffy depending on what we find. This is the 250 pawn shop challenge. So we're not gonna try to spend more than $250 unless we find something really cool. But the challenge that you guys are voting on is for 250 bucks. I wanna give a huge shout out to Target Sports USA for sponsoring this video and their Ammo Plus membership. If you sign up on the special link on the campsite page, you get 8% off and free shipping with no minimums. More about them in a minute, but let's hit up these pawn shops and see what we can find. So we just pulled up to Beltway Gun and Pawn in Matthews, North Carolina. Brett's a little bit sleepy, works the night shift, uh, keeping our streets safe. Yeah, uh, so now we're gonna go the 250 challenge. I guess we gotta check the melee uh, barrel, melee weapon barrel. We may break the rules, but again, the goal, 250 challenge. Let's see what they got. Hey! So what we're going to be doing is also leaving some 704 tactical stickers at some of the shops we go to. And if you walk in and ask for one, they'll give you one for free while they've got them. So I've got a handful here. Again, this one is in Matthews, North Carolina. Just come in and ask them for the, the free sticker while supplies last. The other cool thing about Beltway is they've always got these bins of extra littles, um, whether it be some used ammo, spare things. Um, it's pretty cool to dig through this stuff. So you never know what you'll find at these places. So they've got a really interesting gold Smith & Wesson in 9mm. I think I'm going to pass on that, but it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to check out their 22 rack that they have uh, specifically for some cheaper firearms. Again, right around that $250 price point. Also on the end here, it seems like they've got some interesting stuff. So we'll dig through this a little bit longer. So these guys have a ton of different 22s that we're going to be digging through. And they've also have some cheaper bolt actions. But what I'm looking for is kind of a base model 22. Now, this is a pretty interesting one. Um, it's a Savage, heavy profile, half by 28s, fluted, pick reel at the top, bolt action. And it seems like they've got a good price on it, uh, right at about 220 So... This is definitely part of the challenge. Now, if I've got a little money extra left over, then that'll just be a bonus, hopefully. Uh, Brett's still digging around. I don't know if he's found anything yet, but this is definitely going up front on the table to negotiate with. Brett, come take a look at these. These guys have these right here. Now, these are Canics, but these are the Miami Day and <laughs> the Miami Night a twin set of this particular setup. <laughs> That is really cool. It comes with all the little extras inside the box as well. The tools. What you think about that? It's hey, Brett's not... Slick looking paint job on a canic right there. <laughs> I don't think Brett's entirely thrilled. But this could be uh, something to break the rules for in this challenge. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably try to talk with these guys about them. But they are pretty darn cool if you ask me. Especially if you like... Uh, uh, play in uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. <laughs> these, these bring back a lot of memories. So these are actually the Canic Mete or M-E-T-E SFT and I've never tried one of these Canics before so it'd be interesting to at least get one and try them out but how cool is that? I love the color scheme of this. I know a lot of people are probably hating on these. A lot of people probably love them but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you grab one of these or not? Again, we'll see. There's still a lot to look at. There's a Bond Arms chambered in 4570, but that's way out of the price range, and I just don't feel like abusing my wrist shooting that thing. Now, Price is going to show us some of these 500 mags down here. So these guys have two 500 mags, and this is a very interesting one with a really cool compensator. This thing is massive, and that's why I love coming here, because you're always going to find something unique and different and you're always going to find something cool. What you think, Brett? I'll give, we... I'll give him $20 right now. $20. $20. Uh, we could either get a matching pair of Canix or a matching pair of 500 Max. I know which one I'd go with. Circumcised, uncircumcised. Back to the challenge at hand. I saw one of these guys right here. The Savage 320. Now, this one is pretty cool because somebody added a pick rail and the heat shield. And this is or not a pick rail. The heat shield, yeah, and the pick rail at the front. So these are great shotguns. And for 199 
this is a good option. I may take this up there and do a little negotiating as well, but these are great options, especially under 250. Brett better get to looking because I'm finding a lot of good stuff for the challenge. Now this looks interesting, Brett. This is a heavy barrel 12 gauge shock. Look at Brett's eyes right now. I saw it and it, my first thought was a 10 gauge and I was about to be like, well, that's what I'm getting. So I saw this one actually come into the shop and it is a 10 gauge barrel that's only been cut to a 12 gauge shell. And that thing is heavy. It's a slug gun with a rifled barrel. Now that's out of the price range for today's challenge. But again, we break rules for things that are cool. Here's also a pretty cool 410, uh, but I've got plenty of 410s. Brett's digging through the nine mils. You got, you looking at that one right there? It's definitely in the budget. It's the Taurus G3C. G3C. And that's that cool pattern right there. That, <laughs> cool, cool. I like it. I don't know if you like it. And now I have some Taurus G3 stuff, but I don't think, do you have any? I've got two G2s. I don't have a G3. That one's in nine mil. What is it? That comes with two 12 round mags and that's within the budget. So we may have to throw that up in the pile that we are accumulating to negotiate a price a little bit, but this is pretty cool. Also, if you tell these guys uh, 704 Tactical sent you, you watch the videos that we sent you over, you actually get 10% off anything in their shop. So if all else fails, you may want to try that. <laughs> Ever touched one? What are these? Yeah, I saw this one here the other day. What is this? The Steyr? Yeah, a Steyr L9A1. They, f yeah, they just. The way it ended. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a very interesting feel with a very interesting sight picture on there. I don't know if I could get uh, used to something like that. Trying to get the absolute best deal possible. <laughs> so Brett's, Brett's a little bit, uh, dismayed about my uh winning purchase right here got a good deal on the pair and then i'm also going to grab this for the 250 challenge brett also got himself a good deal on that we're about to start paperwork we'll talk about prices a little bit but about 225 to and a thousand for the pair so this I like, I like how you said we're gonna do the 250 challenge but that's just you <laughs> I, I don't have a budget <laughs> well these don't count these don't count as part of the challenge this will be versus this but we still have other pawn shops to find and we still have a little money left for the 250 challenge so you never know else what else we'll find so we got way too much stuff at this place on to the next shop all right just pulled up to shooters express in gastonia north carolina it is warming up a little bit Brett, isn't it so see what we can find here. They always got a great use selection and they've got a membership service that you can actually sign up for and get better prices. We try to take advantage of that when we can. Let's see what they got. So the first thing that drew my attention was that Imbil FAL. That thing is really awesome. And you don't see those every day. That is unique. We might have to take a closer look at that. Brett's already spying lever guns everywhere he goes. There's also a ton of used guns in here that we're going to be digging through, taking a look at some of the more affordable ones. And again, you can always see that buyer's club price at the bottom to save you some money. There's a lot of good deals over here. And, and now that, that is really cool. That, that is a Beretta 85 BB and the buyer's club price is really close to our thing. I think we try to talk to them about this one right here. Oh, there's another Akanic SFX. Pretty interesting stuff. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, almost knocked it over there. <laughs> Thank you. So, yep, an Imbel FAL and 308. That is something you don't see every day. Definitely out of the price range for day, but really cool to look at. So this one is really neat. It definitely has um, some minor pitting, but the price reflects that. Um, having these Berettas in your collection is really cool and the frame's in great shape on this. Uh, this is probably going home. We're just gonna try to negotiate a little bit on this one right here and see what we can do. But this is a, a pretty cool handgun. It'd be great to uh, grab for that 250 challenge. There's also a lot of cool stuff hanging from the ceiling in here. So you have to look up when you're walking through this shop. There's also a lot of AKs on the wall. It looks like that's a PSA underfolder and maybe a ZPAP, a Zastava AK up there. So a lot of cool stuff here. 
but uh, those are definitely past that $250 price range. I think we've worked this one out for the $250 challenge. We're going to start doing the paperwork on that while we continue to look around. They also have the SIG Cross up here with a SIG LPVO for a really good price. I've been eyeballing that. They've got a couple of uh, kel shotguns and a whole wall of lever guns. All right, so we got this one and on to the last shop. We're going fast today, but we have probably got some of the best $250 guns. You can judge us per gun. So I, you can judge Brett's gun, my 22 independently, uh, this Beretta BB, which is like the ultimate champ for 250. That thing was a steal of a deal, but on to the last shop. So just pulled up to American Tactical in Shelby, North Carolina. We're going to go in here and see what these guys have. Storms are coming in, so we're going to be quick so we can go to the range. These guys have an entire wall of rifles. And, of course, Brett goes right to the lever guns. <laughs> They've got a ton of different used handguns and some pretty interesting ones on this back wall. That's a nice AKV right there. Definitely out of the price range of the challenge, but a lot of cool different ones over there. Got a lot of ARs over here, as well as a whole shelf full of some cool revolvers that are interesting. That Rossi little 22 looks pretty cool right there. They've got the switch gun that we grabbed from them. And there's a Colt Detective Special. You don't see a lot of those too often. Um, there's an SKS I'm going to try to take a look at. It's out of the price range of the challenge, but it looks pretty interesting. So we'll see that. They also have a Snub Nose 500 Magnum that's pretty cool and some more revolvers over here they also have this uh whole case of nine mils some of them are pretty affordable in the challenge including this interesting gun right here this is an intertech and i forget it's the cat nine so i think it's a direct blowback nine no sights just a groove on the top of that thing a really weird gun um, definitely an affordable gun coming in, definitely in the challenge. I just don't know if this is something I want to add to the collection or not, but it's a definitely, a, uh, an interesting grip on that thing. They also have one of those gold Gersons, which is pretty cool. Just so much stuff here. If I hadn't already made a ton of bad decisions about buying some of those other guns today, I would probably be leaving with that inner tech. What I'm gonna do is put a pin in that and on the next pawn shop challenge, we may come back and grab that. But we've spent a lot of money today. There's a lot of cool stuff here. And I knew I had to come here since we were getting close to this area because you never know what you'll find. Um, so it was a great time to look around, but I think we're gonna head back to the range and shoot what we found. And right on the way out, Brett found him a nice Rossi lever gun. You never know what you'll run into. 357 Magnum, 38 Special. I really like the length on this one, too. So we're dropping some more stickers off here. We forgot to do Shooters Express in Gastonia, but Beltway Gun and Pawn and American Tactical in Shelby, North Carolina is going to have free stickers for you guys. When you come in and ask for them, as long as they've got them, they'll pass them out to you. I'm calling you on behalf of your stage. On behalf of my what? Behalf of your stage. Okay, I don't care about Please that. Where do you live? Carolina. Like, what's your home address? Are you, you know my home address, sir? Where do you sleep you at night? We are not authorized. We are not authorized, sir. You're, no, you're off. You? I give you authorization to tell me where you live. Have a good day. Bye. Nah.
So we are done shooting for today and we're trying to get out of some of the rain that's coming by hiding under the lean-to, but this was an absolutely fun day. I spent way too much money on a few different guns, but the only ones eligible for the challenge, for me anyways, is the 22. So you can vote Brian Bolt Action 22 in the bottom comment section. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I have one of these already in the collection. I did a review like six or seven years ago, but it's time for an updated review because we're gonna be tricking this out with some interesting sights and options and that's why when I saw it, I knew I had to grab it, especially at the $200 out the door price point. So this is a go-to. Now, you can also vote for me uh, independently for the competition because I cheated and bought two uh, for the Beretta BB. Now, hands down, guys, this was an absolute awesome find for $250. So this was $250 plus tax. But when it came in, it was really rusted. They cleaned it up. But man, is this a smooth shooter. Probably one of the smoothest 380s I've ever fired in my entire life. And it holds eight rounds in the mag. A credibly nice trigger. Overall, just a solid option. We do have some pitting right up here in the slide. But overall, it's in great shape. I think, hands down, this is the winner. If I was voting, I'd vote for Brian Beretta in the comment section below. And then... We just got these bonus items, which shot amazing. We're going to be doing full reviews on the Canik Medi SFT. Um, these have a nice trigger, a smooth recoil impulse, and the fact that we found the Miami uh, night and day is awesome. So these remind me of the Vice City video game. We're going to be doing more videos with these. We're going to be putting optics on them, actually running them uh, down at the range even more to do full reviews. But let's hear from Brett to see what he has to say about his little Taurus. How dare you? Ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Listen to Brian throwing shade on the Taurus. Is it pretty? Nah. But does it go boom when I pull the trigger? Yeah, and that's what I bought it for. So vote Brett Taurus in the comments. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was a fun one. And a huge shout out to Target Sports USA for sponsoring this video. Again, they've got their Ammo Plus membership service. And you can sign up uh, in the link over on the campsite page to get something special with your very first time signing up. Uh, I, I also want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Would you have bought those, Brett, would you have bought those crazy canics and what do you think won the challenge for that 250 dollars challenge so i hope you guys like the video i hope it gives you some fun options to find at these shops and don't forget we left some stickers there for you guys to grab for free thanks for watching have a good one